Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Arte, seja bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui no canal. E no vídeo de hoje são os melhores momentos dos jogos profissionais de CS. Eu sei que você curte, mas 70% das pessoas que assistem os vídeos aqui no canal todos os dias não são inscritos. É isso mesmo. Então, não se esquece, se inscreve aqui no canal, deixa o like. E lembrando que dá muito trabalho trazer todos os dias os melhores momentos, tudo mastigadinho pra você assistir. É bom, né? Então, deixa de enrolação, vamos ao que interessa, são os melhores momentos. Fui. Ready and waiting. They said it did four hours of preps, and he seemed to know the tendencies. Well, they're ready for this. Exit holding from the pillar at the fountain. He's under a lot of pressure. Heating up. He actually burns away. Exit and Insani both down on the first couple of fights in this pistol. Oh dear. And safe to allow it. He doesn't want that prospect to ring true. Ooh. Great shot from Safe. Though. Another three hundred dollars in the bag. He will be going down eventually. He was the A defender. Bear in mind. So he was already low. This one bullet in the back will take him down. So Julius and Kevlar, two players, like I said, almost certainly going to be a force fight if they can survive. Apparently not. Everyone. Wow. It's not going to be the case at all now. No one resources to even think about retaking oh, the they're ball think, side. They're thinking about it. If they get this kill, the MAC-10 now create an opening, and there's the kills coming through. So Breno and Sani get two kills between them, and now with no trades in Cloud9, they're down to three players in this post plant, and they don't really have any positions outside of the bomb side itself. So Exident and Sani follow up with further kills, and it's just Electronic Life fighting on multiple fronts and is taken down. So what yeah, looked like to be... First. Now Org is going to show us what is made up. First kill for Breno, no problem. It goes down right in front of Hobbit. Molotov clears that back platform. Perfecto sends it in, but he actually gets spammed down by Trop. It's tough for Cloud9 to have to swallow because now you've not just lost Boomich. You've been for this. A 3v5 post plant would be a remarkable recovery this round for Cloud9. This is so difficult at the start of this, but now there's a dream, there's a chance starting to become reality as a kill comes in from Hobbit. Is there any more from the back of the platform? The answer is no, he's gone. So it's on Axel. Pinned to jail. He's got distraction from his teammates, but now he needs to do it all, and he can't. The time oh. he was starting to take, he do their best, but Cloud9 unable to pull it off in the end, and it will be MIPR to kill util setup so you can yep. set them up towards A main and drop all the utility as well towards the key positions. Yeah, it's really cool. It's pretty effective in a round like this with half fives if they're playing close, but Exit is taking position behind the Cake, but that's that Molotov coming in, heating things up. The cake is now burnt open, and he's gonna bring in Sani with one on the CT side. Safe needs to snap back, and he will. Stops Boots from getting safely over towards the camera. Another climb to heaven. This could be massive if they get rid of Safe. Sure, he might be able to get one, but he should be traded, and that's the shot. He actually gets away, and because Electronic was tucked in the corner, Safe is aware of this. He's looking for him, looking to clear him out, and they still Electronic to win no. that duel. And Perfecto turns back in the P250. That allows Electronic out of that position, and Drop has to do it all on his own. A 1v2 recovery. He has got a kid on his back, and he's dancing between Death and the Pillar, and it's Perfecto with a pistol. The P250 gets it done. No Kevlar, his vision up. removed. Yeah, he's uh, severed off from the information flow here. Electronic into the site, running forward. He's not alone, he's got plenty of help around him, and Boomich. Gets eaten up by that grenade, but fortunately, he just got enough life. And that bomb plant will come through. Boomich even got a kill with a Molotov onto Bruno. Oh, nice smoke on his way out as well. Twinkle toes, Boomich gets it all done there. The Molotov kill, the bomb planted, another smoke down just to make things even more uncomfortable. And he's only got, what, like four health or something? So, yeah, he's doing so much. pretty decent work there from Boomich. He got a lot done with a little health. As now we have a four and four retake situation. The bomb's already ticking at some pace. And oh. we do have a kit. Axel with a beautiful kill in towards the face of safe. And it's Axel to mow them all oh. down. Quad kill from hell. <laughs> it's the last player coming in. Here Out he comes. Rugs. So that's how you do that. So, okay, I've got that smoke down. This is a problem though, because if Brenda's pushing water and the bomb gets caught coming down the rugs, it doesn't matter if you get into A. Unfortunately, the timing works perfectly for Perfecto to get away. And now they've got to worry about the flank. They realize that that's been called. And Sani, he gets one. It looked like he was going to go down with nothing there, but he does still stand strong and get a single kill out of it. Hobbit climbs up heaven through the smoke. But it's Hobbit and Axel left in a 2v3. And Axel is the walking dead at this point. Seven health. Yeah, Hobbit has to go above and beyond for his teammates. Great grenade, actually. That will help out not as much as I. Not thought. as much damage as you wanted No, it. if it hit both of them by 30, that would really help them out. This retake is looking very, very good from Abiyar. They're waiting for the initial smokes to go down. They'll flash in and just go together. Here comes the initial swing. Axel, he hits this. Maybe they're onto something here. Bear in mind, he's only got seven points of health. Shouldn't be winning that shot. And it will be dropped to take him down eventually. Now Hobbit gives up his position up against the AWP. Mows him down. He might have enough to work with this here. The Molotov segregates him. It's they can't hunt him, him down. Away. Yeah, because he can't defuse the bomb anymore. Oh, this is wild. Drop is just sitting there, the time running so thin, and Hobbit's got the kill. He'll close it with the kills, and that is crazy from Axel and Hobbit. And Boomich is getting deeper and deeper, closer to the safe bomb site. It is detected now, but Ooh. what a shot from Boomich! Sit down! 
That's beautiful. They've got to deal with safe though, and he is ultra sharp with his AWP right now. It's a stifling Molotov. Doesn't quite hit the mark, but the nade does. AWP will equalize and actually give them the advantage. Three versus two now. Another advantage for MIBR. Same scenario, but this time all three players coming from A main. Mm, it's going to be difficult. Let's see if they can pull it off though. If there's a smoke, I've got to say, if there's a uh, smoke or a Molotov, they're in a lot of trouble here. Well, they've got a net to go through it though. If they blow it open, they get the position of Perfecto and actually safe lands that shot. Now it's down to Boomich, who have to do it all. No way, Boomich. Oh! A double kill and damage as he gets away. No kit. He's on for the ace. He switches to the Glock. The green mean machine and the lack of kit could go against them here. Safe is looking for it on the AK, but Boomich is playing with him, <laughs> playing with his prey. And Boomich does it. He gets it done. Boomich is back and in a big, big way. Oh, that is out of this half mad. completely. Yes, final round as well. You can see they're getting desperate here, pushing and uh, failing, unfortunately. Yeah, very badly, in fact. Perfecto and Boomich with the first two openers. And that's all the rifles gone. You've now got shotguns and MP9s, which is doing a pretty admirable job, to be fair. And you know the position of drop two now. He's stuck inside of dark. So it's a really suffocating round here for MIBR. They've got a lot of time to still play with here for Cloud9. I feel like these are the sort of rounds, though, when all hope is lost, they, they somehow made this one work. It's never a 10-2, Dinko. It's always the double MP9 it's, XX. Exactly. Yeah. It's never a 10-2. Well, it might just be this time. There's always a chance for a first here at that boom. And drop and exit. Looking to pull it back. And you're right, Henry. There was chances. But he needed just one extra bullet. And now exit being watched. He's going to go and clear. He's got himself a kill. And they're molotoving him. They're keeping him at bay. But exit still has to cross. And Axel needs to jump over. So which he does. They can go for the safe plan now. We've got Perfecto low HP. There is a, a chance for exit. But bear in mind, he's just got a flash. 80 points of health. Now upgrades to the AK-47. No kid, of course. And we'll see with this smoke actually segregates. It brings it down to a 1v1 against Axel. Flashbang the point as well. Allows him to swing. Oh, oh, oh. He hits that shot. He might be onto something here. Needs to find two very quick kills at this stage. Running out of bullets. Didn't reload the AK-47. And there we have it. Uh, dual elites out in pairs here. So seven guns on the CT pistol available for Cloud9. And it's going to be fast, emphatic pace here. As we see the opening kills come through. Electronic mowing them down. Has he done enough though? If Axel goes down with nothing, it's still a fighting chance. But he's definitely going to nail at least one headshot here. Shuts them down. And it's going to be a four versus Ooh. two. Still a fighting chance here. Bear in mind, if they can get Axel, they can bring this round back to life. Yeah. But overwhelmed. Now the odds definitely not in their favor. We've seen the odds there from Batboom. You can get a free bet of up to $10 when you register. And also a chance to win up to a $500 bonus. And the chances for Breno to win this in a 1v4, very, very small indeed. Good shot from Boomich to close it, 11-2. Ooh, it's feeling real nice now for Cloud. And here's the play from Breno. Is the patience going to pay off? Or is he going to be hard clear by Axel? There's a chance he goes down here, but you've got to favor him in the fight. But Axel still hits that headshot. Safe gets one back, but Axel doubles up. And Cloud9 have brought it back into a 3v3. They know Axel is low, though. He's taking significant damage. You can take an educated guess that he'll be there alone. So he'll be in under a lot of scrutiny right now. They're going to head towards A almost certainly. And Axel just needs to provide some self-preservation here. That's all he really can do. Can't really challenge for these kills. He knows they'll be coming in. But what can he really do here? A flash to take a little bit of a swing. And hopefully get one. But yeah, so low. One bullet touches him. He's dropped. It's three versus two. But done some damage. And Sani and drop both half HP. And the retake is still possible. Just hanging out in the post plant here for MIBR. Just waiting. That deep smoke is really making things uncomfortable for Cloud9. They've got to clear Maybe all be of correct. it. And an aggressive excursion, Dinko. Flashbang through the window. Swing from Hobbit. Flashbang doesn't quite catch drop, though. And it's an easy opening frag. Drop with a big shot. Now Perfecto holding outside of dark. Drop is at the front of the attack. Just sit back in dark now. Exit. Just waiting this shape up outside of B to really come to fruition because the bomb is all the way back at T-spawn. So you got to wait for that to get in a better position. And as that is happening, Boomish has detected this dark play and he leaps into his death. Not his best work. Yeah, I think you can say that again. But maybe there's a better chance here for Perfecto. He's one of the best B-bomb saw anchors I've seen. And he's got a chance to try and hold on. Through dark, gets one kill for Perfecto. Smoke comes up and that gives him cover. Electronic coming over to help him. And this is a dynamic duo that is so difficult to break apart. And when Axel comes over to help out, it's the winning recipe. It's the winning formula. And it's 13-3 on the first map. It's Cloud9 looking good for a 2-0 chance today against MIPR. Nice.
And Hobbit is behind the half wall. Ready to go around the corner. Here's the Jewel Barretis. It's a big shot from Hobbit. But remember, safe is the player. The secret, the undetected moment here. But he's run out of ammo. Oh, safe. How has that happened? Perfecto on the double kill. They have the perfect trap laid. And it doesn't go their way. Oh, uh, yeah. They step on the rake instead. It's uh, actually backfired. They slipped on their own banana peel. Oh, yeah. That actually works on a couple of levels. I like that. Um, though the retakes are possible, don't get me wrong. It's four on two, four on one. As we see, Insani fight for his life here. PT Fowl's a lot more popular these days. Waiting for the clear shot, gets the dink. That's round over. And Axel will close things out. So nothing to see Hobbit trying to get that quick mid control. Got to watch out for that border in position. Doesn't check it. Down he goes. Yeah, got to watch out for the Ecos play over at CS.12. Budget cosplay contest in its final stages. You guys have a chance to vote for the winner and also get money rewarded to you on your CS money balance for doing so. And this start in the gun round for MIPR is a positive one, and it gets even better as Boomich just start running towards top banana. It exit comes away with that headshot and drops back behind the Molotov. Certainly keeps the CTs on their toes here, looking to jump up on those set coffins. Oh, it's actually a pretty deep smoke there, so got to be ready for this one. Hobbit certainly is. Breno, beautiful. Leap through the smoke there, gets himself a double spray down. Bomb to be planted by the looks of things here. You don't really want to run through and force the issue. Yeah. Let him plant, get together, Ooh. make sure you keep it clean. Well, he gets the bomb down and then he gets out of dodge. But now it does become a very difficult task in front of Hobbit because that smoke at CT has faded away and will reveal two players on the other side of it. There's in fact a third just off to the left too, so it was almost still impossible. made for now. It's been very fast paced from Cloud9 throughout this series, but uh, this one. A little bit more subdued, trying to bleed out that utility. They're trying to work out what they're up against here. Money's tight. Even with the saved weapons, utility almost non-existent now on the CT side. A few flashbangs remaining. That's a brutal Molotov, but still a better kill. They're actually not taking any damage from whatsoever. I thought it was going to land on top of the sandbags and hit both of them. Well, it definitely does a little bit of damage towards the end, but another opening kill for the Brazilians. And Electron is leaping into his certain death. He almost gets a kill out of that one. Axar fighting back here, but it's Insani with some beautiful shots to defend this A bomb site. Much better here from the CT side, but it can all go the other way very quickly with a couple of kills of Perfecto and Hobbit. But now 1v2. And Hobbit looking to go on an unexpected adventure. He'll put his bomb down on default and journeys his way through the smoke. There's close boiler, no extension yet from IPR. Perhaps communicating they want to gather up and do this together, so they're already inside of the site, and this is a long way to go for Hobbit. If one of them gets on that defuse immediately, they have both got kits, and it would mean that Hobbit runs out of time. But they're reading his maneuver, they're reading his play back up to the apartments, and Breno's confirmed that defuse being stuck inside of the site. Hobbit's not going to get there in time. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it in time. Even though he gets the kill just after the defuse, it will not be enough to win the round for Cloud9. Yeah. Another effort there. It was a 1v3 before for Hobbit. This 1v2, he gets close, but the kit can't be. And it's going full send here. Full send with a P90. And it is the force by around that AWP that was saved on over. Here it comes. Electronic with the P90 in. The nade stack has actually caught Hobbit out. And that's the first kill for the side of MIBR. But here he is. The <laughs> demolition man. Electronic flying into the people. You can see. Site. It's we super viable. Like, it's a laser weapon. The only problem is you just don't get the same kill reward as you do on the sure. other SMGs. And it costs 2350 instead of like, what? 1100 so but those sort of rounds but he's got 50 bullets and you can completely run and gun with it like there's something to be said about it people need to explore that uh, as a viable weapon going forward you just saw like certain situations certain maps against certain buys p90 has a place in this game you heard it here first yeah you did the the he does enough to win this so he's gonna hold on to the balcony as long as he can and here he goes the fairy tale comes to a sad end it's electronic with the headshot, but Breno from inside of the site, much better. A masterpiece, in fact, from him. And Sani's come back with a headshot on the Deagle, and that's Perfecto gone. Down and out. And so Cloud9 in a 2v4, somehow favorable position for MIBR. But from how much longer is the question? With that bomb down at short, yeah, I was going to no say, if Boomish had the mid. bomb and he runs into B, that would have yeah. been wild, but he didn't have it, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, the bomb is down towards the short side. They've brought it back to a three versus two. Now, bear in mind, you've got Insani with no Kevlar as well. Same story for safe. So even though he's got the AK-47, he's incredibly squishy in towards that pit position. No real utility on the T side, just a single flashbang. But Boomich, powerful man, taken down by safe. Yeah, Axel's going to drop off the balcony. Safe with the double. And that will be MIBR closing on it. He's Flashes can make it difficult. It's a close range position, though. Yeah, if he gets flashed, close proximity, he's in the uh, push back in towards first oranges, as you can see right now. Needs to hit the second shot, he's delivering on all fronts here. Look for that hat oh. trick. 
It looked close, it looked good, but now we need at least one more kill here. Exit needs to post one, running out of bullets and space and they time. Yeah, they're low HP. This retake's on. They will not be saving this one, I can tell you that much, oh. as they've now got the man advantage and two low HP players up against them. But Electronic gets into the church. And this could be a really good position for good him. Good smoke. Smoke keeps him at CT. That might funnel them in to Electronic, which is exactly where they want them to come. But it's not going to be the fact they go through the CT smoke. And now Electronic needs to come back. He needs to come back and fight in a different front and drop it. And Sani hit important shots on the retake. They pull it off with the, the man in there. So the setup designed to deal with this is Hobbit and Perfecto. Utility being tossed in from MIBR, trying to make this one better, but there's a gap for Hobbit, it would seem, as he's actually managed to hit that headshot. Don't know if there even was a gap, but he's able to make it work regardless. And the bottom plant is going to go down for a save. So the boost position for Perfecto works out instantly with a headshot on drop, and we're now up to a two-player advantage for Cloud9. That's one of those crazy coffin smokes as well that's completely covered everything. And, well, <laughs> speaking of which, Hobbit's blown everyone out of the water here. Wow. Great last shot from Boomich as well, as uh, you can see Smile Cloud9, who have all the as you were mentioning, and that's going to be used towards Banana. A lot of smoke in already. Boomich needs to be careful. Brenner take it up. Perfecto, that's the warning system. And Boomich, risky, jump across back into the B bomb site. Tossing out utility, but Brenner went stop it, oh. and he keeps going. A bulldozer through B as he takes out Boomich, and that's the site. That's it taken, and it might even be the round now. Yeah, using the inertia of that first frag doesn't stop whatsoever. Overwhelmed Boomich, but Hobbit's still here, alive and kicking. Does. Let's find one, but I think that's going to be the save now. Two players to survive here. Oh, that might change things. Let's run through the smoke. We'll get in Sani. There's a three versus Mid. two. It's going to be Hobbit forced away. And here is save. Getting creepy. Ever closer to Boomich. And it will be the USP taking the headshot instead. I want to save that AK and get the hell out of there. But Hobbit still fancies his chance. I guess they got the man advantage, right? So we'll see what they can be done here. A couple of rifles in the mix. Bomb planted, though. And we certainly won't be a kid available. Three players are Kevlar as well. Smoke down toward the coffins, courtesy of drop. Smoke and CT spawn still down as well. They've got an HE and a flashbang remaining. A trifecta on the bomb site has been enabled here. CTs, they're going for this one. They need to go right now. Can't really wait much longer. It's time to get mowed down by Exit and Insani. But it's now two versus one. If they can defuse no. right now, there's no. a real fighting chance. Oh, but it will be dropped to hold on. Uh, that was going to be defused. If he gets that kill, they actually win the yeah. round. Yeah, and it comes down. Just when they were coming online as well. This round's recoverable for sure. Boomich. He's just always on the front lines in the trenches. No. This time, yeah, it, it, this is like, that's when it's a little bit difficult to watch. It's just like, there's never like anyone with him. There's it's no reason. <laughs> it's just like always him. There's no trade potential. And he like, they get to have it sometimes to be fair to him. But now that man advantage has been squandered as uh, we will see. Perfecto with a long range MP9 headshot. So it comes down to Axile here. He's been great this series. Gets the dink, but it's not going to be quite enough here. And it's Cloud9 left in the two. They hit the drop, and uh, they know they're going to be safer as well. Need to be careful because they've got a very low HP in Sani. CS2, we all know. Run. Bomb Blast can be unforgiving to say the least. I think he's fine, though. Make it a lot of users second. as well with the same promo code. Gets stuck in. You can see the odds still favoring Cloud9, but slowly but surely they're creeping back into it. Our MIBR. Good smoke, and it should be a guaranteed frag in Sani. Is dropped this time. Back to the guns for Cloud9. Let's see if it means back to winning ways. They've had a lot of rounds recently where they're kind of having to make Hello. compromises in Exile. He got a double, just murder in the halls, murder in the hallways in the apartments, and it's a double from Axel that'll really destroy MIPR in this round. There is nowhere they can go with this at this point. And the rounds have been so close, Dinko, that they're only going to get $1,400 in the next round as well. So, sure, they've been winning a boatload of rounds here, but I think it's imperative that he saves flash early, though, while the smoke is still up. And no one comes through that smoke. So letting that distraction come in, and that flank, remember, is still coming up through Banana, too. That's on the back of Axel. He's running for it. Axel gets one in the flank, activates, but Drop is doing the most that he can, but he's finally taken out. Five and the seconds. Time is limited. Five seconds. That's all they've got left. Not enough time to plant even anymore, and Axel will do the dirty deed of closing out the round with a headshot. Yeah, and that's oh. the most brutal. If you fully invested his pistols across the board here, and they've chosen, I guess, the, the correct bomb. So it's a very passive hold. Electronic. Oh, he's deadly, though. Strong position against those Tech Nines. There's no way he's going to lose that duel. There's no way he'd have to like smoke him off or flash him out. Molotov towards the pit, I think, is the only option. He can't challenge him. Yeah, electronic. That's to be a hell of a flash. They need to Molotov the pit. It's going to be rough there to get is. him out. There's the Molly. Electronic then peaks. Good flash as well. The perfect utility. Coming in second kill. This time onto Axile. That A site will not hold, and it has to be the save call. Pretty, pretty underwhelming for Cloud9. Just kind of bent over and just uh, fell apart as uh, we see them. Two players remaining here have to save. That was 
pistols across the board. Idea, actually. So you keep you condition with the same smoke over and over again, but drop. Oh, no is... way Trop got that kill. No way he gets that. I can't believe it. That is so wild. I don't think Axel can believe that either. That's going to be one that he just kicks himself about. And now with 53 seconds left, we're looking at the most likely outcome of round 23 being 12 to 11, and this game being one round away from OT. Yeah. I guess uh, the boomage antics not working at the start. Like the fact that he's getting taken down, they've gone into this more passive setup now, more traditional. Um, they don't look as comfortable. Electronic certainly dead here. Drop will get his second, and yeah, we're going uh, 12 to 11. Might have to save some weapons here. Unless Perfecto goes supersonic at this stage. Hobbit will pull one back at the very least. Two versus four, but they've already got full control of the A bomb side. He's going to get dropped as well. Painted into a corner. Surrounded at this stage as well. A little bit of presence here from Bruno. Just needs to be careful he doesn't go down. He might open up the door of opportunity at that stage. And they are trying to take Hobbit down, but he manages to evade all of they their really shots. They need the weapons here, Henry. They don't have a lot of money left over and a couple walk of players here. Is Hobbit going to walk into it? That is the question. The timing just works against him. He peeks around the corner just as they dismount, and he still doesn't get the kill. He still does not pick up the kill at long. Yeah, and it was a pretty clumsy dismount there. So uh, the fact he doesn't even get the frag, that's surprising. Electronic, what have you got for us? He's had a pretty quiet CT half as well. That's no just... way. No, this is so wild from Cloud9. It's, it's great for MIPR, but this is some crazy stuff from Cloud9. Not hitting some of the shots. They would absolutely get nine towers out of ten in the usual scenario, but this is not a usual scenario for Cloud9. This is going to be overtime. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, it certainly is. That was looking good for Cloud9. They got the information. They're running the clock down, but just couldn't hit the shots required. These frags are null and void, really. The round's already over. We're going to overtime. It's all about just padding stats at this point, I'm afraid, Perfecto. And you're not going to get anything. Breno absolutely eviscerates them. Uh, Five-man survival Boy, unit there. Off. He gets smoked out at CT, and now he's calling for help. He needs backup, and he needs it quick. And Hobbit is the player to answer the call. The call to come back and help Boomich in the hole. And Boomich manages one. A wild swing again, but it is just a single kill from Boomich, and that is not going to be enough to make you feel comfortable about this. Hobbit cannot deny the plant, and that will be the bomb going down for MIPR. Perfecto falling too to Insani. There's no real chance even for a retake here. Oh, this has been pretty flat. This CT side has been... Pretty disappointing from Cloud9. They just seem to have just fallen off the, the edge of a cliff. Easy control of Banana. Taking mid control as well. Falling back, the execution, and uh, CTs are just rolling over. Hobbit, the last player to go down here. And here comes the utility. Flash goes up to keep it at bay, and Hobbit's burning inside of the first oranges. Oh, he needs to get out, and he will. Cools his toes inside of the fountain water, and now he's gone. A follow-up Molotov in, and Boomich has to do it all. He's dancing around the pillar inside of the fountain, and it's only a single kill in the defense. Now it's Electronic coming back. Not only is he there, but he's got Axel with him, and it might not be needed as Electronic gets a double. 15 seconds left, no bomb plant, and a 1v1 between Safe and Axel. He's got plenty of time to get that plant down here, Axel. M4, full HP, and it's the Org on the T side as well. Safe makes his way towards the Ruins position, and finally, a round for Axel. It's labored. He gets dinked in the process. I like the, the rifles. I like it coming out instead here for them. It's been better. And look at Insani. Electronic has no idea he's got out to this position, and that is going to allow Insani a beautiful kill. Electronic is going to be frustrated about that one, and even more so by that. This A site, once again, very weak. Perfecto has to step up in an unbelievable way and i really don't believe in it but maybe hobbit's with him and that could be enough to embolden them hobbit and perfecto with the double kill but insani on the wraparound from long no one read it no one considered it and insani catches him with the pants down well there it is 2-1 looking like all day long here for mibr they've got three players remaining just boomage here no grenades bomb planted he's coming towards the top of middle and he's got so much work to do here. It'd be an absolute disaster. They even gave him a frag in this sort of scenario. He smoked off. The, the bomb's already going at some pace. You don't even have to give him anything. If everyone just tucks in and hides and forces the fight out of him, there won't be any time to defuse. What a round from Insani. What an absolutely fantastic round. Beacon. He doesn't take as much damage as I thought he would, though. He's actually done pretty well with the follow-up oh, grenade and the kill through the smoke. Finds Axel. Bear in mind, they just need one round here to find map points. One more after that to take us to Mirage. Smoke's being deployed. It looks like a banana split is being set up at this stage, but the CTs continue to find frag after frag. Huge spray downs through the smoke. It's dropping Insani. Teaming up. Exit will join them as well, and that's going to be it. Boomer has got nothing to say about this one. Just running through. <laughs> Not even sure the objective and was there. But 
I don't know. I, I think Mirage might be locked in. Look at this from Hobbit, taking a risk, going through the fire and the flames to his death at the sandbox. Bredo takes him out because of the utility. There's no one to trade Hobbit. There's no one close behind him. And this feels like it's just throwing everything at the wall, hoping it sticks, and it's not. Nothing sticking apart from Cloud9 players to the wall. It is over. It's that done. is going to be map three. Dunzo. I can't believe it. Cloud9 will be kicking themselves. You've absolutely destroyed him in the first map. You've got a 10-2 lead on your map pick. Yeah, you're high flying, you're looking good, but it's it's been squandered. MIBR, a fantastic resurgence here. Down but not out. Mirage is up next as we'll see Safe find the penultimate frag. It's just going to be one player remaining ahead of a player, Axile, but uh, it's too much in his play to deal with here, I would say. He's got the bomb on his back, utility available, but no possible way of winning. It'll be drop to recover the map as we see MIBR getting us towards Mirage here. Unbelievable scenes. Yes, unbelievable scenes over at Beth Boom using the code Dacha. And it's all about drop heading down into the underpass here. He's got Perfecto waiting for him. Not just Perfecto, but another set of jewelries in the hands of Electronic. And it might not even be needed. As Perfecto gets the double, it's Hobbit. And it's our offers we've got going on right now. It's a free bet of $10 in first registration with promo code Dacha. And it's a bonus of $500 well. as well. Get Breno on up into the jungle. And he'll slip through. Behind Hobbit, they don't seem to be aware of this. Electronic's even turned away. So there's the chance here for Breno. Gets one, but now Hobbit has pushed a little deeper into connector, which gives him a bit more cover to play with. But Hobbit is now smoked out. The A site has fallen completely to the hands of Breno and Insani. So looks to try and close this round out for Perfecto. That's such an important kill to come in. Taking out Breno through the murder hole. The bomb isn't even planted, and there's 10 seconds left in this round for Insani. He's going for kills. He's going for elimination because there's no time to plant the bomb anymore. He can't get back to the site in time. It's over. This round make, is done. He needs to make sure he just doesn't die after time, which oh, is maybe likely. No, I think he's okay. The PT-50 doesn't finish the job. So he's fine. He can't really How justify long is this? How long a second. Is and smokes and shots being delivered. It's Boomish with the first drop of the second. Fully four established. No one yet to go down further than that and drop an electronic will change that fact as Insani on the Deagle bites back with two. Electronic and Hobbit stood no chance. The dirty Deag doing it to them. Execution through. They thought they'd all recovered as well as Boomer that opening frag as well, if you remember, but got absolutely wrecked by the rifles upon return. And at least uh, they do take the majority of the players. Well, that is down. the question that he will try to answer in the next few seconds here. Hobbit towards the back of the triple stack. Peeks out. It's one from Hobbit. He's still standing. He's still here fighting. And Hobbit with no issue yet. And he's still got his teammates to rely on too, so he no longer has to do this on his own. It looks good for Cloud9 until it doesn't. His Hobbit is taken down through the triple box spam by Breno, and they're leaping towards the site, but the Brazilians are being brutalized at the moment. They're held out in Palace, in Ramp, and at the Ninja Boxes. No chance for a plant just yet. Three on three, 45 seconds. Utility, There's missing on either side, and that's a nice shot from Safe. We'll find Perfecto, just biding his time. Hoping he can pick them off one by one, but he's very low HP as well, but it doesn't seem to matter. Boomich will be dropped as well, and Axel, nothing he can do. The force by backfires, as uh, now they're down in the dumps. They'll have to take a full eco, a chance for him to be delivered towards top and middle. They'll go for the swing, it's a pretty effective flash. Might be up for a couple of kills here. Let's actually receive a couple of fatalities. Breno and Exit will take the man advantage once again. Four versus three, so plenty of time here. So that mid push doesn't really help out Cloud9 whatsoever. It was a great flash, but now Boomich has to step up and do something heroic himself. There he so is. the M4 probably gets the first, but will almost certainly be traded out. But the speculative spam, trying to go for the wall bang there, might cost him his life here. This is big from Boomich, but he does go down in the end. Breno finds him a little bit labored, but he gets it over the line. Keeping the Cloud9 players a little further away than they would like. And finally, it is space taken for Perfecto and Hobbit as they try and get back in together. There's the shot from Drop, though. That should be enough. The time is taking too far at this point for Perfecto, and they don't get a single kill in the 2v2. That's MIPR closing. Here in the Palace, Report. they would be anticipating the stars to be smoked, but in fact, it won't be. The re-smoke at Palace comes in, delaying them even further. And did Hobbit see anything? It hasn't reacted. And there's the blowing of the smoke. That's the bomb going down. And Hobbit nearly even gets a second out of that. But it's a mess here for MIPR. This isn't the cleanest A-take you would have seen. No, it's really not. Electronic now showing some form. Good smoke blowed up. Could even call it a blow job, Dinko. Yeah, you could. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't touch my floating cock one in your that. All right. As Henry G once said. <laughs>
Oh, you dear. You could call it that, I suppose. That's, yeah, that, I, I was trying to think. I was in bed last night for some reason thinking about it. So we've got to, there's got to be something better than blow the smoke. Like, yeah, you can. I, gotta, I, I spoke to Rush, and he was like, destroy the smoke. It does have the Nomad fade, the Butterfly Knife fade, and the Glock fade. Lots of good fade does our boy drop. And that's Boomich taking out Insani. Chaos in middle, but it's Axile. He's got victims right in front of him. Damn, they turned the crosshair that follows the recoil on, and that is tripping me out, Henry. Uh, that, that is a wild crosshair we got on right now. Uh, we'll, we'll see if that continues here, because that, that was very confusing for just a moment. Yeah, absolutely true. Drop. There it is. Fighting back, though. Hold on, this oh round might God. not be done. Oh, okay. Nice shot from Hobbit. Okay. Still not done. 1v2. Bomb in the back here. But Mr. Rex, it was 69 health. He's got space. He can make his way in towards B here. One flashbang remaining. He's trying to try and get the plant. In terms of cash, that would help out tremendously going forward. He won't win the round. But Tool oh, spots the orb and absolutely destroys him. Beautiful shot with the AK-47. Nice movement. Brings it down to one versus one. Make it zero as we've got Exit pulling off a massive clutch there for He's MIBR. Given the He's given the opportunity in Boomich's position now detected with that flash. He'll ring out the shot and they go through. Connector, what, what? a shot. How has Insani managed that? That should have been Axel's kill all day long, but it's not. And Electronic desperately trying to plug the gap on the B-bomb site. Well, he is destroyed and so will for where Here is Electronic and and he descends from the window. Nothing really. Breno actually was, in the meantime, turning back to fight Axel and actually won that fight. So uh, Cloud9, not in a good position here. Not at all. They've lost the early player. They haven't really got too much space, but maybe they can change that. Electronic struggling with a few of these kills. Boomage making up for it, but uh, it's just the aforementioned remaining, and that's all of uh some exciting moments throughout this. Yeah, there's that he can't play again. Boomich though, double kill. That's Breno and Sani going down early. Safe coming back forward. And we're looking at a 3v4. Drawn back by Perfecto a little bit here. Here we go then. We've got the advantage for yeah. two. So Electronic seems to have an inkling as to where the remaining players could be. We'll make a footstep here. And presumably go down. That's exactly what happens. So time goes off. Safe is middle of the site he's about to nice get caught too perfect there with a sick headshot right there well good job from electronic there managing to get, get the information oh, should creep underneath the scope and he will and they're all creeping under a scope in fact they're going towards connector and they've taken out insani and this makes safe feel like he has to make some impact so he goes more aggressive and he takes out boomage now it's the connector play breno looking to hold down the archway and he's done it so well breno holds and finally broken down by perfecto 3v2 favoring mibr here Electronic right above exit at the moment. Yeah, they'll have no idea he's there as well. As far as they're concerned, he, they Molotov out of position. He shouldn't be here. He's got a great little gap, though. Electronic preempts it, takes him down, brings it back to a two versus two. Running the gauntlet, Perfecto trying to get that bomb planted if possible. You can see the new outlines of the site itself showing you exactly where you can plant. I think that's a good addition, to be honest with you. As drop, we'll be fighting back. It was a great start for MIBR into this round, but Electronic known to win a couple of two on ones in his career. He's got the read on the first. He's up against safe for the AWP, but slow but surely encroaches on his position and will take him down there. Good effort by Electronic. They got the bomb planted. But Boomich is deep in towards CT. He's hiding up on top of the bin. He's not alone though. He's got a teammate right beside him. And Boomich does get cleared just like that. Brennan will drop immediately with kills for MIBR. Perfecto is doing what he can to hold off the CT play. And it is a double for Perfecto as well. Remember, Hobbit is still on default. And this is a position that could really unravel the round. But Insani, he's from Palace. He's got the headshot. And Hobbit is knocked out of this one. Axel with a 1v3 from ramp. They know exactly where no he way. is. And that will be the death sentence. Safe comes back in, clears out the ramp. And fantastic. Here's the walk-in. Exit at CT. Hobbit looking to apply pressure with the Mac 10. It is Exit getting one. Boom, it's important trade. And Hobbit even better. But again, it's not MIBR falling by the wayside. They put up a fight. And finally, with that kill from Axel, it's Cloud9 in a position of power with the advantage. But Hobbit goes on the play forward. He goes on the hunt. And he gets punished by drop as the 2v2 retake opens up. This one's for the match. Yeah, it absolutely is. In so many great retakes, so many great clutches today. Can they find one more? Breno with the ultimate frag, and it's going to be a clean one. finish. That is beautiful stuff. MIBR are through to the playoffs. Cloud9 down, but not out. That should have been their series, to be honest with you. They will be kicking themselves if they give that one away. MIBR looks promising in the opening game against Deadpool, but.
E aí, gostou dos melhores momentos de hoje? Não se esquece, as estatísticas estão aqui para você analisar. Pausa o vídeo caso você queira ver e acompanhar tudo certinho. Sua inscrição e seu like aqui embaixo é muito importante para a evolução do canal. Te vejo no próximo vídeo. Fui!